So the first thing in here what I want to do is I want to import the animation that we did for the uh, Rococo in mocap. So I'm going to choose here and I exported the uh, mocap as a human IK, H-I-K or HIC import. So here we can see the character right here. So next I want to do here is I want to create a character definition. If you don't see this, click this little human key right here. Or you can go to animation, human IK right here, either way. So I want to hit a create character definition. And here we can see uh, the human character we're going to define. And what I want to do is I want to select the hip right here, or you can go to the outliner and select the hip. And I want to click this folder right here in the human IK. Click it. And then right here on the template, I want to choose human IK right here, hick, and hit OK. When I do this, this will turn green, saying it's all OK. And then what I want to do here is I want to rename this to rename character. Um, you don't have to, it's just be more organized. So I'll call it a mocap animation one. Next, I want to do is import the character that I downloaded from Mixamo. Click File, Import. And this is the Paladine, which is a one of the default characters. Here we can see the character. I hit six on my keyboard to see the textures. Next, I want to go to Shading and choose X-ray Joint so I can see the bones inside this character. And you can see right here, this is the character. So uh, uh, what I need to do here is I need to create a new definition of this knight. So what I do here is I want to click this plus sign right here inside the human IK plus. And I want to rename this to knight underscore one if you have more than one knight. Then what I want to do is um, I want to select the hips of the uh, Mixamo character in the outline, or you can select it here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, so I, most of the time I go into the outliner. And I will do the same thing. I want to click here, the folder, and then choose the template and choose the same thing here before, H-I-K, human I-K, and then hit OK, and this should turn green. Turn green there. So now what I want to do here is since this is the knight, this is the character that I want the movement, and the source is the animation, the mocap that we created. So I want to click here and, and hit here, mocap animation one. When I do that, uh, you can also see what happened here. He went up a little higher here from the ground. We are going to fix that. But now you can see the uh, motion capture here, hit play. Here. So there it is. And what also I could do now is since this in the, um, in Rococo, the, um, the, the FPS was 100, we can change this back to 30. And you can see the time up became smaller. You can see it's the same speed here. And if it is playing really fast on your uh, Maya, uh, most likely you have this set wrong. So in the playback speed, or in here, sorry about that, in the timeline, right click, hold down your mouse button, go to playback speed, and then hit real time. So here we can play. Okay. So now I want to do here, I want to fix this problem that uh, you can see it's not touching the ground. Also, if I go to frame one, hit here, I go in here, get out of the T pose. You can see that um, he is uh, overlapping here in of the character. And what happened here is a couple of things. One thing is that when the actors stand in the pose position, when you calibrate, uh, the, uh, the actor was not fully touching the hips right here. Or 
the other thing that could happen is like this character could be bigger or could be larger uh, than the character that um, is performing the mocap. To fix this problem here is what we need to do is um, create a control rig for this object or animation character. So what I want to do here is uh, you can see here in the timeline it has all these um, keyframes for every single joint. Um, and what I want to do is uh, I want to put this into a animation layer here if I'm doing that. So what I need to do is select the, um, the mocap animation and what I'm going to do is just select the reference or the hip and I want to bake this uh, character onto a control rig. So to do this, uh, select here and then also uh, be careful here. If you bake your uh, mocap only to 353, Everything after 53 will not be baked. So it then what that happens is you will not be allowed to move the joints separately. So uh, for time's sake, I'm going to do the, these frames right here. So click here, up this little arrow here in, inside the human key, arrow, go down to bake, and then bake to control rig. And then what's going to happen here is going to play every single frame. And that's why I said make sure that this is showing all the mocap animation, which was up to 768. So when I created that inside the controls here, you can see you created this skeleton here. And what this is, is um, the arcade. If I click this here and, and click these here, and I hit R if I size these, Oops. You can see these are the IK right here that you can move, animate. So I can grab this and I can move it. You can see that IK here. So the first thing in here we want to do here is fix the um, the height here. And what for nice with this is I don't have to put this into a animation layer. This acts more as a movement where I can place my character in the scene, or just by doing the acting here. And also you can see here, uh, this high, I can move away from the skeleton here. So I'm gonna go to hit spacebar and go to front view. And I'm just gonna put it to the ground here, touching the ground. Next one I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go back to my perspective view. And inside here, animation layers, uh, this is your normal layers. And if you don't see this, click this icon here. So what I'm gonna do here also, you can see is overlapping here. Um, so I'm gonna select my hip here, or you can select in here. And I'm gonna click this. If you hover over here, you can see it says create layer from the skeleton. And if you choose this here, it creates an empty layer, which means is you have to apply this joint to it out or add it, the uh, joint to the layer. So I'm just going to select this and click the uh, here. And now if I move this here out here, make sure you're on frame one and then hit keyframe. Now you can see that the joint is in that layer. And of course, I'm going to rename this to the left shoulder. And now I do the same thing for this one, arm. Make sure you're frame one, like this. Oops, uh, before I do that, I'm just create an empty, just to show you how to do this, I'm going to create an empty layer here. And what I'm going to do here is while that is selected, I'm going to right click go up to add selected object. And now if I move this away here, you can see that it's working. And then I can hide this, mute it, you see it goes back here. So um, that is how you um, add a, a mocap animation to a character that you downloaded from Mixamo. Thank you and take care and subscribe. Oh.